Okay, so here's the setup of my microbit. You can see the green pin is going from ground here to ground on my microbit. This is the power bit. Um, so my microbit plugs into it. But if you don't have this power bit, don't stress, you've got the, exactly the same pins here on your microbit. So just plug it into that. So it's into the ground. The red is going from 3 volt to 3 volt. Um, and then the white is going from in to pin number zero. So this three volt one is using the power of the micro bit to power the speaker. Ground is to make sure nobody gets an electrical shock. And the white is just the input for the information coming through. And so you can see here, um, the switch on the side of my power bit will be used to po um, power everything. Or I've got it plugged into my computer here. So right now it's my computer that's powering up everything. Okay, so I've got a quick video here on how to write some music for your micro bit. So this is aimed at if you've got the speaker to plug into your micro bit, but can it easily work? There's a hack that you can do when you've got earphones and I'll show it to you first. See, here's a picture of your micro bit and an earphone aux cable there. So you can scroll down and what you would do is you'd plug in your black connector to or your green one to your ground. And then the end of this black cable, you would put into the base of your earphones that is the ground is the base of the earphones closest to the plastic and then you can see here you would plug your red into the zero pin which is like the, the red over here the red cable and you plug it in the other side of it to the top of your headphones and that's like the data transfer cable so you've got your black in ground it goes to the base of your headphones you've got your red in zero and it goes to the tip of your headphones and then once you've done that, so either with your speakers or your headphones, you have to set up your code. So I've got the code already here. I'm going to walk you through it. I like to say on start and I like to show a picture just so that I know my micro bit is up and working. So the on start block should be there already. And you're going to go here to basics and click on the show LEDs, drag it to the screen here. And you create the heart by clicking on these blocks and clicking them off. You can do a smiley face. It's your choice. Then we're going to define what happens when you push button A and push button B. Where you find these purple blocks, you go here to input, you click on this top one here on button A and drag it onto your screen. I'm going to delete mine. Um, and you can see there what happens when I push button A. We have to define something. And how you do that, you go here to music and we're going to choose this one here that says start melody. Click on it, drag it to your screen. And this is what the block that appears. And you can click on this down arrow and choose any song here that you want. Um, I've clicked on Entertainer. We can, uh, I'll leave it as, at that, but choose whichever one you like. And it says here, repeating, and your choice what you want to do. Just play it once, forever, or do you want to play it in the background? I'm going to put it on forever because I want to show you something. Sorry. Now let's say what happens on button B. Now you'll see under input here, there's no button B option. What you have to do is click here on button A on the purple right click go duplicate and you can see right click duplicate it creates this duplication and I'm going to delete it but just drag it down here and this down arrow here you can choose A or B or A plus B so choose B and again we're going to do the same thing again but I'll show you it's a bit different so click on this red block right click go duplicate and put it when it appears Right click duplicate, when it appears drag it down here to fit in like a puzzle piece. Um, and what I want you to do now is make sure that at the end instead of saying forever it says once. And the reason we're doing this is because there's no stop button. So oh you will go mad if you do this and it just plays forever and forever and it never stops. This is the way of stopping it. You would push button B, it would play once and then it stops. Now we're going to go one step further here and create our own melody. So I want you to click on this purple button, right click, duplicate, drag it down here and change this down arrow to A plus B. And now I've created a song. I know it looks a bit daunting, don't be freaked out. I do play piano, so it was very easy for me to do this. Um, but really, anybody's a musician. Honestly, if you can hum it in your head, you're a musician. So don't be intimidated. So I want you to go here, click on Musics music and I want you to take this top one here click it and drag it onto the screen here and this one will apply and then I want you to click and duplicate it a few times do several ones going down it's a bit annoying I'm sure there must be a quicker way I'm just not finding it duplicate going down 
And when you click on this middle C button, a keyboard appears. So it's perfect to help you figure out what song you want to play. And it doesn't have to sound like Justin Bieber or One Republic. It can, any song is a song. You can make up what you want, whatever. I'd say the easiest thing to start on is this button, this one here, it's middle C. This is even a great way, if you're not a musician, to teach you the different keys on the keyboard. And just literally as you click on it, you'll see if I click on D here, I think this is the hertz. So every sound has a frequency attached with it. As you go to higher sounds, there's higher values. So let's click up here, you can see it's a much higher value. And as I click on it, it made a sound, and that is the sound. Doesn't sound great. Um, I think there's actually a way here you can choose, right now it's like quite an electronic sound, you could choose it to sound like a piano, but let's just do easy for now. So as you click on it, it makes a sound, you do feel like a robot. So it would be a cool if you can click along and the program recorded what you were clicking on and outputted this code down here so you didn't have to do each one individually. And I'm sure there's a way, I'll figure it out, I'll make a video. But for now, you make a video, uh, a song. So I'll give you two options. Make your own song up, nothing's wrong, everything's right, or try to figure out happy birthday. Giving you a hint, starts on C. And you can see, let's click here, you can see it actually goes C, C, D, D, C, F, E, and it carries on down like that. So that's your hint, you've got the first part of happy birthday. You can change the beats here, and um, if you're not comfortable, just leave it at one. You can hear that when you sing happy birthday, it goes fast, oh sorry, yeah, fast, fast, slow, 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 very slow, <laughs> slow. Fast, fast, slow, slow. And so you can see that variation. I've got half beats and whole beats. And then the long one that you hold for a long time is for four beats. So feel free to play with that if you feel comfortable. Like I said, no song is wrong. Everything is music. And that's the code that we're going to do. So let's see it. I'm going to save it as eight. You can see I've been doing this a lot this afternoon. You can save them all as the same. You can say music, zero. And you probably should because... If you save it as new names, you're just copying more and more programs onto your microbit. I just come from a world of computers where sometimes you save it as the same name, it doesn't recognize a new program, and then you've got problems. So that's why I'm in the bad habit of adding numbers, so then I get like literally eight programs. So it's your choice. If you call all of them music, and you every time you make a change, you just save music, 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 you're just gonna have one file, you'll never be able to go back to the old ones, but you'll be saving space in your micro bit. But you can just delete stuff off your micro bit. So I would say give it numbers and change the number every time you make a change. Because also coding can drive you mad. You'll do one thing, you'll delete it, you'll do something else, you realize actually you needed the earlier thing and then you've deleted it by writing over it. So maybe keep your numbers there. Sorry, <laughs> that was a bit of a useless debate. Okay, so you can see on the right hand side I've got my desktop folder where I've got the program I wrote. I'm now gonna plug in my micro bit. You can see that's me on the screen with my daughter. The folder should pop up. There you are, and I'm going to click and drag. And you see it copying across the screen. It sometimes takes a bit. And now let's see what the program does. Okay, so let's see what the program does. When I push the A button here, it should pay the entertainer infinitely. And because there's no stop button, when I push the B button here, it will say play the same song but only play it once. And I'll use that to stop the song. When I push both buttons at the same time, it's going to play the song that I composed, which I best you can guess it when you hear it. So here it goes. When I push the B, same song again, but it will stop. And now when I push together, there's a slight problem with this. Even though I've um, written it correctly, for some reason it's, it's playing one of the notes wrong, but you'll still get the song. 